A coming soon page is a great way to tell people that your website is launching soon. And if you set it up correctly, it's a great way to provide valuable information to potential customers, as well as collect some of their data, such as their email address, so you can stay in touch when you do launch. So in this video, we will walk through how to create a coming soon page from scratch in WordPress. Hi, my name is Chris from Seedprod, the number one landing page builder for WordPress. With Seedprod, you can quickly and easily build many types of landing pages with our visual drag and drop editor. If you are new here, make sure to click subscribe to stay up to date with our latest tutorials. Any important links can be found in our description below, so make sure to check those out as well. Instead of showing a half finished website or something that's incomplete, with just a little upfront work, we can actually create a coming soon page that'll benefit you and actually give you a great head start with your launch. So in this video, let's get started creating a coming soon page from scratch. And as a bonus, stick around to the end of the video and I will show you how to set up a giveaway really quickly and easily to do so you can gain more leads and improve engagement. This will also give people another reason to share your page or to share your information on social media. So the first thing we want to do is head over onto our dashboard in WordPress and we need to get a plugin called SeedProd installed. So if we head on over to SeedProd.com or click the link in the description and SeedProd is the number one landing page builder for WordPress and this makes it really simple to create sales pages, coming soon pages, opt-in, maintenance, and webinars and others. And we can use this, it's a visual drag and drop editor that makes it really simple to create pages quickly and easily. And just to show you a lot of the full features of it, we're gonna be using the pro version today. So you can go ahead and get SeedProd by clicking the button here. And after you have an account, you can go ahead and log in to get the pro version. So on the left, we'll just e on the left, we'll just enter our email address and password. And after you log in, you'll be presented with a dashboard for your account here. And you'll see a link at the bottom left. We can click on this link and you'll see a big download button here. So let's go ahead and click this. And this is the plugin that we want to install in WordPress. So now that that's complete, we also need the license key. You can click the little icon here to copy that. And now we can come back to WordPress, come over to plugins and go to add new. Let's go to upload plugin. And we want to choose the file that we just downloaded. If you're using a browser that you can see the file, you can just drag and drop it here, or you can browse to the file on your hard drive by clicking here. Now we want to click on install now and activate the plugin. Now that it's installed, the first thing we want to do is just paste that license key right in here and then click on verify key. You should get a success message if everything went correctly. For now, we no longer need the seed prod page, so we can close that. On the left side, we now have seed prod and we can see some different options here. We just want the pages for now and we're presented with three different modes here and some sections below here for landing pages. In this video, we're just focusing on the coming soon mode but it does have a maintenance mode 404 page as well as the landing pages that we can create. And for now, we're going to set up a coming soon page. So let's go ahead and click this button right here. And we're going to be presented with some templates here. We can create one from scratch using the blank template, or we can select one of the pre-made professionally designed ones that Seaprod offers. And these are all mobile friendly as well. Since we already have this installed, we can close this at the bottom. And now let's get started by selecting one. Now, if you're creating a different type of template, we can see 404 pages, sales, webinars, lead squeeze, and thank you. So you could select thank you. And we have some templates for those as well, sales, Etc. In this video, we're looking at coming soon. So let's go ahead and pick one. I'll go with this one here. Now we can view it for a demo or we can click the check mark here. This is going to instantly import this. One thing that I personally notice about Seaprod is just how quick it is to use. And they take a lot of pride in not putting bloat in the code. So everything loads quickly and it's really nice and easy to use. Now we'll go over most of the options in this layout here, but at the top we have a nav bar with design, connect, and page settings, and we'll look at these in a minute. And we can save what we do here for our work, as well as publish it when we're complete, or save this as a template. We also have a help link here, a preview, and we have an X here, which will bring us back to the seed prod admin area. On the left, we have the blocks. So we have standard blocks that are included, along with some advanced stuff as well that we will go through. And then we also have some sections. So the sections are some pre-made things such as frequently asked questions or headings or call to actions. And we can just click on these. So if I click this one, for example, it'll just import that layout. And then we can go ahead and edit this and modify this immediately. So you can just immediately select a block here. And then on the left, you'll be presented with the options for this block. So this is a header block. So we can actually just change this. We can say something like new deals are coming soon. Click on the paragraph here and we can change this 
to something relevant that we're doing. Get the latest fashion items and offers. And now here we have a list. So this is on the left, we can see the list items that we have and it's really easy to use. You can just delete some of these or duplicate them and then just click on one to change it. So summer items, uh, we could put, you know, spring shoes. We can pretend we have like a clothing line or something here that we're working on. Vacation accessories. Great, so we have a little message here. We're saying that we're coming soon and we want people to sign up, right? So let's come back to our blocks. And now we have our standard blocks, but what we're looking for is the opt-in form. So we can just drag that in here and then we can click the little cog wheel here to get the block settings. Now, just to keep this a little smaller, I'm gonna hide the name just so they have to enter their email just to make this nice and easy for them. And you can show the opt-in confirmation checkbox if you wanna show that as well. Down here we have the size of it, so we can have a small box, medium or large. We'll just keep that on medium. And the alignment doesn't really matter for this because it's taking up the full width. However, let's say we wanted a smaller button, we can then come back up and align that to the right or left if you wanted to do that. For this, we're, we're just gonna keep it the full length though. For now, we're gonna keep the, the colors the same. We're gonna look at global colors in a, in a minute. So we won't touch those. And then we can show a success message. And I, I think the default one here is perfectly fine. Now we also have templates on a lot of the blocks. So for example, the form field here, we can change that to a dark or a gray, and they all have different options here really quickly and easily. I think the default version here, the light is perfectly fine. And then some advanced options here as well. So on the submit button, let's just change the button text here to get notified first. And then this way they can enter their email and sign up to our newsletter. Now, before we go any further, you might be wondering, you know, if you're using a email service, you can go over to connect and you can set up your favorite email marketing service, such as active campaign or MailChimp or whoever you prefer. And you can connect the opt-in forms to collect emails with your favorite service. As well, we have Zapier and some other options here as well. Zapier, we can set up some advanced API stuff between different services if you need it. The same with the image here. We can go ahead and say this isn't relevant to us. We can delete this and you can upload your own image here. So you can select one from your hard drive or if you already have one in your media library, you can select that. Seedprod also makes it really easy just to use a stock photo here. So let's say something like vacation and then do a search. And let's say this one, it has some fashion items here, so it's kind of relevant to what we're doing. But now the colors don't really mix and match and the dark theme is kind of weird. So let's go ahead down to our bottom left with the global settings. And now here we can manage our fonts, our colors, our background, or you could add some custom CSS if you know how to do that. So under colors, we can click here and see our headers, which this is a header. We have our text, so this is the text, our buttons, our links, and our background color. So if you don't know what to pick, you can click on color palettes here and we can go through and pick one of these options. So maybe something a little bit more green would make sense. And then if you wanna fine tune what the color should be, because that looks a little dark, maybe you wanna brighten that up. And maybe the text could be white. And now we can also do the same thing for our fonts here. So our header fonts and body. So let's pick something different, uh, Roboto maybe for our headers, and then maybe just a generic open sans for the body text. That's a pretty safe one to pick, but you can change these to whatever you like. And then if we come down, we have the background as well. So right now we're using a background image so you can see there's some images there in the back. We can actually just delete that and get rid of it and select a solid or a gradient color. So let's pick something maybe in the blue family that's a little bit darker, just so it kind of matches the blue and the jeans in here. So now it really kind of pops out on us. I would probably use a background image, but this looks pretty nice to me as well. You also have the option of using a video background, but I think we'll just leave it how it is for now. So of course you have many options here. You could add a video. So we could just drag this over, select the cog wheel, and you could just put a link to a YouTube video. Maybe you're talking about your products or, or what's going to happen when you launch and what you offer. And of course you can add more buttons, more columns, so you can add more to your layout. We can do a giveaway. And if you stick to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a giveaway with RafflePress plugin really quickly and easily. More contact forms, some social proof and social sharing if we wanna offer those as well. For example, you can offer some star ratings and maybe some testimonials and, and stuff like that if you like. So now that we have kind of a nice simple page set up, we can click on the mobile and we can see what this will look like on our phone or on tablets. And that looks pretty nice to me. It's very mobile friendly. We also have the layout navigation, so we can kind of easily select different sections on the page here, as well as our revision history, our undo, and our redo if we need that. At the top, we have page settings. We can go through the general access 
control SEO and scripts. So general, we have like our page title here, coming soon, summer styles, or whatever you wanna put in this. We have our page status. For now, we're gonna leave this alone and we are gonna publish using this up here when we're complete. You can show a seed prod link at the bottom if you want, and you can actually join the affiliate program and put your link in here to get a commission off of that. Isolation mode is just to avoid conflicts with other themes and plugins. If you don't know what you're doing, just leave it alone. That's fine. You can have redirect mode. And let's say you don't like this at all and you want to start from scratch. You can just come down to choose template and this will select another template. You can do a blank one from scratch or one of the other pre-mades and this will wipe this one completely out and then you can start from scratch with a new one. Under access control, you can do a variety of things. Maybe only give people access by role or by IP address, have a bypass URL, things like that. Under SEO, we can enter title, description, a fave icon, social media thumbnail. If you don't want it indexed by the search engines, you can enable no index as well. Or if you want to add some custom scripts to your header, body, or footer, you can do that in here. So let's go ahead and actually preview this. Make sure you have it saved for the latest version if you haven't saved recently. And this is what our page is looking like currently. So again, you could add a lot more to this page and get a lot more use out of it. I'm just showing you a simple example and what Seaprod can offer for you. So for example, maybe we don't like the video. Let's get rid of that. Maybe we want to add a countdown up here. Maybe that's too big. So let's make that a little bit smaller. And we can add a time when our launch is, we'll say the upcoming Friday, and that'll start a countdown for us as well. We have a bunch of other options here, as well as templates and how that'll look. Again, let's go ahead and save that and preview. And now we can see our changes here as well. Now let's go ahead and actually publish this and let's see the live page. And there we go, this is the live page, it's totally live. But now if we go to the front page, we have a problem here. It's not showing the page to us. And there's actually two reasons why. So let's go ahead and close this. And the first thing we wanna do is the coming soon mode actually isn't active. So we have this little button here and we have to click this to make it active. And you'll see this nice orange alert that'll tell you in the admin bar here in WordPress if coming soon mode is active. So now if we refresh, it's still the same. And there's one more reason. That's because we're logged in. So now if we log out, and come back to our front page. Now we see the coming soon page. Now the reason for that is you wanna still be working on your new website. So when you're logged in, you don't actually get to see the coming soon page, you get to work on your actual front page. So there you go, you have a fully functional coming soon mode page set up easily with a visual drag and drop editor. Now for those of you who are curious, let's go ahead and add a giveaway and now this is a great way to promote your coming soon page or your new website that's about to launch by offering some type of giveaway or prize to people but at the same time they're also going to be sharing your page with others to bring more awareness to you on social media or by sharing it with their friends or whoever so let's go ahead and go to the growth tools and click on install for raffle press Let's go ahead and click on activate. And if we refresh here, you'll see on the left side, we now have raffle press. And let's go ahead and create our first giveaway. And we're just gonna do the classic giveaway. So let's use this template, but we need to put a name in first. So this would be whatever you're giving away. Let's say something like $100 gift certificate. And then we'll say, use this template. And now this is what it'll actually look like. And we can click on this to change to what we're actually giving away. So instead of that, we'll say $100 gift certificate. And then you can put a description in here of what the prize actually is for and whatever details, extra details that you would wanna put in here. And then when you're done editing, you can click here. And then this will be the information that it shows. And then we want a start and end time for our giveaway. So I'm just gonna leave these by default how they are. And then on the left, we have our actions. So the way this works is people would enter their email and then they would have to do something to earn points to get entries into the contest. So for example, visit us on, on Facebook, we can click this. And if they visit us on Facebook, they will earn one point. So if we're trying to get more Facebook followers, that would obviously be one of the options that we would add. If we had a Twitter page, we would do the same thing and same with Instagram. So let's just go with those three for now. So again, they would earn three points if they did all three of these things, which would give them more entries into the giveaway. And now I'm gonna go ahead and save this and we can close this. Now we can see our giveaway is here listed under giveaways, but let's go ahead and get that added into our page that we created for coming soon mode. So we come back to pages and go to edit page. So we could do something like maybe add a new section here and we could just add this on the bottom and maybe put something like this. And if we come down to our blocks, we can have the giveaway. We can put that maybe right here 
and we select this and we have a drop down menu here so this is the raffle press giveaway and we'll see the hundred dollar gift certificate contest or giveaway that we selected or created and now we can see a little box here that has some information and then maybe on the left side you could put a headline and then maybe you could put some information here and some icons whatever you want to do all right so this isn't the greatest looking design I'd spend more time on it but just to show you an example let's go ahead and save this and then preview it and now if we come down we'll see the message this giveaway is not currently running so I don't know if you guys picked up on that but if we close this and come back to raffle press and we edit this we can actually see the start date doesn't start till January 5th today is not the fifth yet so if we come back we can change the date of when it starts and when it ends so now if we save this and refresh we'll see that it is now updated and we can see the full form here and again just to show you how easy is this is maybe we don't like the layout of this which personally I don't so let's go ahead and just make a couple changes here and I just want to show you how simple this is and we can drag this up into here now we have our contest up here we can get rid of this section here and save this and let's do a little preview and there you go that looks a little bit nice a little bit more simple and maybe you could add more content on the bottom so now when people want to come and enter your giveaway you can go ahead and promote this on your social media or newsletter if you already have one and you can send this out and tell people to come here to enter and to do that, they just enter their email here, their name and email. So let's say minus Chris, and we'll say chris at example.com. And we'll go enter. Now I'm entered, and now I have access to enter the contest or the, the giveaway. And I'll get a point by visiting the page, following on Twitter, and to visit on Instagram as well. And if we come back to Raffle Press, we can actually see the giveaway that we created here. And now it has one user. So if I click on this, you can see the email and the name that I entered. And once their email has been verified, and you have a lot of different users who entered, you can then go ahead and select a winner. Thanks for watching this video and I hope it did help. Check out this video done by Christina just to see a few more extra things that Seedprod can do for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.